Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are going to discuss the presence of Lagna Lord in the other houses of the chart, right? So let's begin or maybe not. Today we are here to discuss the placement of the Lagna Lord of your D1 chart, which is your Lagna chart, not in the D1, not in the Bhava chart, but in the D9 chart. The D9 chart is the chart which tells us who we are internally. The D1 tells our uh, about our talents, about our interests, our psychophysical disposition. So if you are not much aware of the D9, then please go to my channel. Uh, Vishti Larson had come to my channel long time back and he had done a series of videos on D9 and on Venus. So in case you want to know more about D9, then please go and watch those videos. I'm sure you will able to understand beautifully all right but here we go placement of d1 lagna lord in the d9 different houses all right so we'll start with the first house so if the lagna lord of your d1 is in the first house of your d9 all right if you're on a vamsha chart then what happens well this means uh you have a very strong sense of identity uh, and purpose in life, uh, there is something which you really want to do in life, okay? It may be related to your career or maybe not. You may have some any other purpose, okay? Uh, this can uh, have, this can either give you very good health or at times uh, bad health if it is in a good dignity or a bad dignity, okay? So if you cultivate your charisma and your personality, uh, you can be very confident, you can be very bold and very assertive. And you might have a strong desire for independence and you know strong desire to achieve your personal goals. Okay, this is very important. And um, you like to keep everything together sometimes. Okay, not with others, <laughs> but for yourself. Now, this does not mean you are selfish, uh, but you want to have a very strong hold of everything in your life. Okay, this is what it means. And of course, that also means, you know, you want to keep a good hold on your relationships. Uh, it can be a bit dominating at times, can be a bit authoritative or dictatorial at times. But in general, uh, you want things to go your own way. Okay. And you also love to convince other people about your way of life. Okay. There you go. Now, Lagna Lord of your D1 in the second house of the D9. So, if you have this placement, then it means that internally you want to have a good family life. Now, the problem is if this Lagna Lord is afflicted, then you might lose all desire for having family, you know, children, marriage and all this, okay? Because you might have experienced some childhood trauma or something similar, okay? So therefore, you might internally want stability, comfort, peace and all this, you know, uh, family and uh, financial but externally, of course, it will depend what your D1 is. You know, externally, you may show a very different face of yourself. Okay, so you might like to manage finances. So in your date of birth, if you have the number five, um, so if you have five anywhere you know, except the first two digits of the year, and or if your basic or your destiny number is five, and in your D1, if the second house is strong, you can go towards the finance sector. Bang on, this works all the time. Okay, you can go into like wealth management, PMS, um, portfolio. Uh, you, you can, you know, start your own services, you know, you, or you can work in some uh, big PMS. Okay, so now uh, one problem with this is uh, there could be too much obsession or attachment towards your family values and traditions, uh, which is not wrong as per the Vedic standards. Uh, it is good, actually. Um, but at times it can make you very dogmatic and uh, you might speak badly about others. Okay, so please make sure you don't do that. All right. So now Lagna Lord in third house of D9. So this, this shows you internally you value communication and you want to develop your communication skills. Uh, you are very courageous inside. You have a lot of determination. Now, if this is afflicted, you may not have all this. Okay, that, that's the problem. So you might want to have a strong bonding with your siblings and, you know, uh, in field related to journalism, like, you know, media, writing, okay, you, you might want to go towards social media like YouTube, Instagram and all this, okay. So you are very adventurous, you might love to take risks. 
and uh, in your date of birth if you have the number nine um, then you might also be uh, you, your courage might be even more and in your d1 if your mars is exalted or something like <clears throat> your third lord is in lagna or third lord in 10 then these these traits will magnify but again as i said if you have too many nines in your date of birth then the courage is down and uh, if your mars is badly placed then you may not want you may not be adventurous you may be very timid and very fearful okay so it depends on what is going on overall okay very important now lagna lord in fourth house of d9 this is very important your focus is like a bit similar to what the second house which is you know like you want home comfort emotional stability uh, you have very strong connection to your family and to your roots or as i said um, if it is afflicted you may not have strong connection you may be completely detached okay so you might be very strongly inclined towards you know acquiring property real estate and all this but this is not more this is the d9 so this will not be too much of real estate or car or property to some extent but this will be more related to your inner happiness so you may not value taking too much risks in life which is fine nothing wrong uh, in not taking risks uh, so this can be good because you might uh, value stability and you know you might have a lot of stable things in your life uh, you might be a bit reluctant to change uh, now if this planet is afflicted you 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 might not like stability so <clears throat> uh, this is how it works and a uh, fourth house in the navamsha can show interactions with your mother to some extent not completely so it can show that you know you really value interactions with your mother or motherly personalities uh, but again if that is afflicted you may not get that okay and if it is well placed you might get that okay so well uh, it also depends on where moon is you know and the fourth lord of the d1 so that is also very important but in general you will you you will value uh, you will value stability in life and you will value those people who uh, have shown proof that they are committed to you and they like you uh, they want you to win so you will also want them to win okay so this is one of the be best placements in my opinion okay now lagna lord in fifth house of the nine chart all right this is a very classic placement this is one of the best placements after the fourth house so this placement shows internally you are very creative well what kind of creativity it is it will depend on what the planet is so for example if it is venus you know you could have you know like things like painting uh, if mars it could be like cooking or martial arts and all this you know so so it depends on what kind of planet it is okay if there is sun there could be dancing and all this moon mercury can show things like you know singing healing ayurveda and all these things okay astrology also at times jupiter will surely um, surely give you some interest in physics or mathematics or ancient vedic scriptures so you have a deep interest towards arts culture uh, and also children at times okay so this can show that you may be very romantic and very flamboyant at times and uh, for you uh, you might gain a lot of happiness through uh, through you know your creative pursuits and intellectual activities but now the problem is in your lagna chart fifth house if you have malefics then this nature will not come out this will just stay this will just stay inside okay it will come out very rarely okay so therefore that is why it's very important you also check the d1 and not just decide on this okay then lagnesh of d1 in sixth house of d9 very 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 important this means you can be a health freak or you are completely negligent of your health you may value discipline or you may not value discipline at all if this this is afflicted okay but in general if you have problems in life then you need to sh make sure that you are disciplined okay so this could bring in uh, some tra traits regarding to uh, obsession with discipline also sometimes okay and for this you need to also check uh, the person's palm you know the palmistry so for example if this uh, jupiter finger is very straight you know this one then then this can mean the person has reasonable uh, good discipline but if the person this finger is like tilted this side okay it is tilting towards the thumb 
okay now don't artificially tilt your fingers or don't tilt it this side just open your hand generally and see what, what it is so if this finger is tilting this side then this nature will be more you will be very reckless okay and if this is tilting this side towards the middle finger then it means uh, you are a bit overly disciplined okay so that is where the problem could come in in both the extremes so best is if this finger is straight but you will not find it straight because people are different okay <clears throat> but in general you might uh, feel that your life is off track sometimes because uh, of not having discipline so if you have any problems in life please go and uh, check this all right then Lagna Lord in 7th house of your D9. A very important position. It's another Kendra position. So this means relationships, uh, marriage, commitment, partnerships are very important for you. Uh, internally, you don't want to do things alone. Internally, you want to always do things together with somebody. Even in your profession, you know, you are a, you may or may not be a good leader, but you may be a good team maker. Uh, not team maker, what is, what is that? Uh, team player, sorry. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> now the problem is, if there are afflictions to this, then uh, you might have problems if you go and, you know, uh, start to build teams. Okay, so this is one uh, area where the problem could come in. And uh, you might have a very cooperative personality. You can be a bit charming. You know, you might uh, attract a lot of members of the opposite sex or you, you may run behind members of the opposite sex. Uh, but nonetheless, marriage and partnerships will play a very crucial role in your life. But then the thing is, how will you know? Will your married life be good or not? All right. So for that, you need to check the D1. And... Uh, you, you can also do that using palmistry, you know, if this is like your Venus Mount, you know, if there is some dent there or some, uh, what do they say, uh, there's a word they use, you know, it's like uh, if there are crosses, so uh, then there could be problems in your married life and that could impact you more, okay, so this placement can be a very tricky placement because if the D1 is not supporting good married life, then it can... Uh, be very traumatic for you but if the d1 is supporting good married life well then that's great this is the best placement because it's like saying you want to have a good marriage and you also get a good marriage okay so that's very rare <laughs> lagna lord in the eighth house of d9 okay very important position this is very critical also could be a difficult placement but this can give you extreme interest towards occult sciences and, you know, mysterious things, conspiracy theories and all. You could become a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so, uh, along with this, uh, now, there is one problem with this placement. In Hindi, there is a saying, Lato ke bhut bato se nahi mante. <laughs> How to translate this in English? You know? So, this what this means that you don't take serious action unless something something drastically bad happens in your life okay so unless there is terrible suffering you don't change okay so this is you need beatings only then you get up okay if if this is afflicted then this can be the case or if this is well placed uh, then it can mean that you know you uh, you like to revolutionize things you like to do things differently you, you want you like to transform things you like to dig deep into things and you know do a lot of research so you could be interested in physics or metaphysics you know or psychology and all these things okay so uh, and you have, might have a lot of interest in dealing with money uh, other people's wealth basically okay so Wealth management services could also be seen from this, provided the D1 supports, all right? Lagna Lord in ninth house of your D9 chart. Very, very, very important position. Just like the fourth and the fifth, this is one of the best placements again. So this means you love to educate yourself. You love to go to your guru. You love to meet uh, your gurus. You love to go to a spiritual community. You love to you know, learn more. You, you, you are like Maharishi Agastya. You know? Agastya Rishi drank the ocean. So you are like Agastya Rishi. You, you keep drinking an ocean, the ocean of knowledge. <laughs> Don't take it otherwise. <laughs> so you might have a strong inclination towards philosophy, religion, learning, you know. 
and you might have a deep quest for faith you know not just uh, faith in god but faith in anything okay and you are on a rampage you are you you are on a rampage you you like to devour everything that you want like knowledge from knowledge perspective you know not materialistic assets so this means your relationship with your mentors and your gurus is the most important thing in your life but if the d1 is not supporting this then you might get cheated sometimes you know from some mentor or some fake guru okay that can happen that's unfortunate but it can happen that's your karma okay <clears throat> but just because you got cheated from somebody um, does it mean uh, you have to cheat them back or do stab them back no don't do that so if you might have done something wrong to somebody uh, that karma is coming back to you but then <clears throat> you can't just say oh it's you know my karma so i'll also fight back no if you if, if you again do wrong it will again perpetuate the cycle okay <clears throat> but this is one of the best placements okay all the best now lagna lord in 10th house of your d9 chart very 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 important this shows career <clears throat> name fame power position reputation authority leadership dominance uh, is very important for you ambition is like all over the place okay so this is a person with whom if you meet uh, you will come to know that they are very ambitious okay but the d1 chart will tell you if you will take steps to fulfill your ambition because there are many people who are ultra ambitious but you will see not everybody takes steps okay so there can be a strong sense of duty and responsibility towards your career goals only if the d1 supports okay otherwise uh, this person may be you know wanting to be a billionaire and just do nothing okay so disclaimer this is not a position which tells you you will be a millionaire or a billionaire or a prime minister of a country all right this tells your inclination okay so you have to work for it and your d1 should support it as a matter of uh, your destiny only then that will happen all right lagna lord in the 11th house of d9 incredible position this is this is again fourth house fifth house ninth house and the 11th house one of the best placements okay these four are the top so this shows your focus is on gaining a network, uh, network circles, friends, acquaintances, associates. Uh, it shows you might have a wide variety of circle uh, of friends, okay? But the problem is if there is affliction, your friends may cheat you. So we need to be careful with this. <clears throat> In general, you will find a lot of opportunities for, you know, financial gains or fulfillment of desires, you know. In general, you will find it. <clears throat> and uh the you you may have a strong sense of groupism okay so uh, you might be obsessed with you know oh, i am in this group you are in that group okay so this group groupism game might go on and a uh, strong sense of community may be there and if the ninth lord also is supporting or is linked with this then you might uh, want to uh, go to a spiritual community and you might have a very strong sense of identity okay <clears throat> Therefore, uh, this is a fine, fantastic placement to uh, seek help from the network circles. But again, you need to check your D1 and only then you will understand if you will get the help or not. But in general, if you have this, then try to help others. And of course, someday, God willing, others will also help you. Okay. Lagna Lord in 12th house of D9. Again, a critical placement like the 8th house. <laughs> So this can be very good or bad depending on how it is. So if it is positive, it can make you very spiritual. It can make you very detached. It can make you, um, it, it can give you this feeling that, you know, it's okay if something does not work out, you know. So <clears throat> you may seek solitude and you may be very intros, you, you might life, love to introspect uh, your, uh, yourself always from within, okay. So uh, now, Sometimes people say this gives you connections in foreign lands. Well, I, I have not seen that working always. But you might have interest towards, you know, foreign languages, long distance travels and all. And uh, the only problem is you might have some problem managing your finances and, uh, you know, you might have some hidden enemies which you need to be careful of. So 
And therefore, if you have this placement and uh, if you have a good D1, then it will mean you are very detached. Otherwise, if the D1 is also bad, this can mean you are you are a very reckless person. You have no discipline and you are just screwing up your life. All right. So if, if you fall in this category, unfortunately, then do spiritual practices, have discipline, structure your thought, your consciousness, and you will be able to do much better. All right. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Take care.